Hey everyone, so when it comes to fly fishing at the lake uh, for rainbow trout, uh, quite often you use a little indicator like this as a float, as an indicator to see whether you get a bite or not. So in the last couple of videos that you've seen uh, so far this year, we've been using an indicator like this one here. Um, so basically, like I say, it's like a float. So we sit on top of the water. Uh, when, the when the fish grabs the fly, uh, this in indicator will go down and that's when you know when to set the hook. And the other purpose of this indicator is to suspend your fly at the right depth where the fish are biting. So for example, if the fish are feeding on chronomids, um, they're feeding at, let's say, one or two feet of the bottom, uh, you will set this, um, the, the depth of the indicator exactly uh, to put the fly just one or two feet off the bottom uh, where the fish are feeding at. So if you're fishing with conventional tackle like a spinning outfit, um, you will use this uh, sliding float. Uh, sliding float allows you to adjust the float depth to as deep as you want, uh, even though if your rod's around six or eight or nine feet long, uh, you can still uh, adjust your float depth up to 20, 30 feet uh, without having any problem. So a sliding float like this one right here, um, so you would just slip up the line until you hit the stopper at the very top and uh, that way and uh, you work properly when you get a strike the float goes down you strike it and the, as you reel in the line the float will slip down to the bottom towards the hook again uh, so that way you can actually reel the line in without having the float getting away um, so when it comes to fly fishing it's a little different you can't have a sliding indicator on the line because the last thing you want is to have this little foamy thing uh, sliding up and down as you're casting um, your fly out. Uh, that just doesn't work. So the alternative is, is to fix this indicator on the line. But if you fix this indicator on the line, let's say you're fishing at 20 feet of water and uh, your, rods are near, your fly rods are only 9 feet long, uh, that makes landing fish pretty much impossible because let's say if you have an indicator fixed on the line and you have 20 feet of line trailing down below uh, you, and you, you, this indicator comes up and gets caught up on the, the rod tip and you still have 20 feet down below you and you, you're trying to land your fish like that and you, you'll never reach the fish because the fish will still be fairly deep down because it's 20 feet of line uh, from the top to the bottom, right? So what's the alternative? The alternative is to use a quick least strike indicator like this one here. So the quick least indicator uh, comes with um, exactly so that's the indicator itself the orange part the red part and also comes with a little black peg so what you need to do is for example if we have a leader right here you will slide your indicator in thread it on to the line then you slide the um, the peg on as well like so so now you have both components on the line um, the next thing you got to do is to form a little loop, like so, and just peg the indicator onto the peg with the loop in your hand, like that. As simple as that. So what this does is when a fish strikes, um, you will set the hook. So this end is your rod, this end is your fish. So you set the hook so the tension coming from your side tension coming from the fish. So both of you will be pulling this line and this loop eventually will just come out by itself and the indicator will release itself and then it will slide down towards your, the bottom of your leader, the end of your leader. Simple as that, right? <clears throat> so there's a couple problems with this. Um, so one is if you have this pegged down too lightly uh, sometimes, occasionally, uh, when you cast, um, the indicator will come apart by itself. Uh, so to combat that problem, um, you basically just have to put it really tightly, but then you, you, you lead to the next problem. So if you get a fish on, uh, occasionally, as you've seen in some of our videos, um, you set the hook and the fish is pulling, but because this is so tight, um, the indicator actually doesn't come apart like that. Uh, in that case, what you need to do is actually grab the leader as you're fighting the fish, grab onto the leader, grab the indicator, and manually uh, disassemble the, um, the indicator, and then you will slip down. So there you have it. It's a very, very simple solution 
when it comes to fishing in deeper water, in 10 feet, 15, 20 feet of water, uh, when you fly fishing with an indicator. And uh, if you have any other questions regarding this technique or any other techniques when it comes to fishing in British Columbia, please leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer your question. And uh, please check out our website at fishingwithrod.com and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel for videos, more videos to come. And until next time, good luck fishing.